today is an extremely exciting day for a friend of mine who you've maybe seen before who has some amazing cars and today he is picking up his new daily which is an absolute beast are you here with me classic lost a ring down the side of the seat of the car always always a good way to start the day anyways we're heading over to the lamborghini dealership now so i'll join you there are you ready yeah, yeah for sure <laughs> <laughs> the only person to come to a lamborghini thing with a supermarket bag in his hand <laughs> here we are lamborghini porn tree there is an urus performante already out here look at all the carbon awesome and then when you walk in it is just beautiful <laughs> look at this i'm going to explore the garage a bit have you looked around yeah, it's insane. Absolutely insane look at this i mean we've got just everything look we've got a cyan these are so 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 rare look at this incredible i've never seen one of these before actually in the flesh or in the flesh you know what i mean look at all the carbon around I, I think this inspires a lot or will inspire has inspired the replacement of Ventador. but look at these exhausts and all the carbon exposed carbon the gold wheels it's just nuts it's like everything turned up to 11. of course based on the Aventador and this front end is just so aggressive then we've got a Countach right here so another Aventador based kind of special one-off oh we've got an alarm ringing okay the alarm's gone off so we've got the Countach this is actually a really cool spec I mean insane car I think 112 or 121 I can't remember of these produced this with like those bronze rims just looks nuts and then this light cream interior hello by the way you can see in there we have really cool i love um how they've used the cn kind of lights in the back here but then these exhausts are a real kind of throwback to the original Countach. personally um i mean i think it looks awesome there was a lot of talk on whether this was the rightful kind of um not replacement because that's not really what it is but um, homage to the Countach. Uh, um, I don't know. I think it does look great, but it is, after all, basically an Aventador underneath. There are quite a few changes, but still the basics remain fairly Aventador esque. Uh, then we got Hurricane, this really nice SV in this light silver, which has a little bit of a blue tint to it as well. These, I really like SVs. You know, there's uh, only 600 of them. You can see the little plaque right here, whereas the SVJs is 900. Um, of each coupe and roadster so a little rarer than the svjs and for some reason i just find especially the rear design just a little bit cleaner i just i'm a huge fan of these this is rare as well it's a mura 50th anniversary aventador i've seen them before in black and gold never in this spec um, fairly bold <laughs> spec but really cool to see one of these uh, super trofeo stradale a Gallardo again just a hardcore version of the Gallardo these I think look still so good especially from the rear they just haven't dated that much I find really nice hurricane here finished in like a dark brown with the gold wheels and then all sorts of different things you got a four liter right there uh, Porsche 4 liter 997.2 then the Turbo S exclusive series which looks awesome and it just keeps going this place is insane and we're actually going to show you further on in the video we're going to go visit uh, other buildings they've got over there with some other really cool cars aston gt8 which is outrageous look at the size of this wing you need to be so careful when parking because it goes so much further back than the rest of the car but it looks great with the black wheels fully blacked out mean look manual gearbox in this cool looking turbo s gt3 rs right here completely forgot to mention this though <laughs> ford gt i know how could i these are awesome look at this angle right there where you can just see through the bodywork for the car these are air outlets as well right here in the middle of the lights i mean i absolutely love these they're just so so cool they have a yellow kind of bumblebee spec on this one but yeah, i mean it doesn't end here look we've just got all sorts of nuts things this spec is pretty insane on this sto the golf spec and then this red really nice this this is gorgeous do you know the color of this arma armaranto is the color of this it's awesome looking it's like a really deep kind of burgundy with um it's an ultimate oh i hadn't realized it's an ultimate roadster so the last 
Aventador, really nice. And an Ultima Coupe and Alex's car. Okay guys, we're going to look around quickly at some of the other parts. Okay, we have another Countach here. Look at this, in a very kind of slightly more basic spec, but very classy, STO, Challenge to Dali. Uh, I mean, it's endless. What can I show you? Another 50th anniversary car, Roadster this time. Oh my God. This is an SVJ right here, uh, 640, another 640, but with this might be a special edition and I'm just saying it completely wrong. SVR, 8C, I mean, what is going on? 4x4 four four squared over there. What is this place? It's insane. Almost as insane as my hair today. Okay, I know we were rushed in this room, but I've just been let through to this room, which is a private collection. Every car in here is part of one private collection. And I mean, 959 with red rims, an original Countach, and then the new Countach, but this time with bronze wheels. And is that a white? I think it is. It's a fully white interior. Look at that. That's bold. No wonder they've got the plastic on the seats. The 959 and oh, look, Urus Performante uh, and Ultime in this like crazy color. This is insane. Classic 911, 996 GT3 RS, Turbo. Oh my God, this is crazy. This is insane. A four liter right there, just a, a whole line of classic 911s, an SV Roadster, yeah, SV Roadster, beautiful, a Mercy SV, this is, this is just paradise, this area. Beautiful Mercy SV, these are so rare, only 350 uh, produced, uh, Mercy Roadster, Diablo, this is, look at this, a Diablo Le Mans edition, oh my god, insane. I don't even know where to look, guys. I thought we were just coming to pick up Alex's car. I had no idea we were going to see all this. Which is your favorite? It's hard to choose. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> if you had to choose one. Oh. Uh, uh, this one, this one is fair. No, it has to be a Lamborghini. Oh well, there's so many of them. <laughs> this is lovely as well, Speedster. And to think all of this is a private collection. This is a really nice Urus Perf as well with the army green and the gold. Looks really cool. Look at this Nardo Grey SLR with black rims. I wonder if it's an original color or a repaint, but insane. If you're ever around, if you're in Switzerland, uh, I highly recommend coming to check these cars out because it's insane. Probably said insane a bunch of times, but yeah, crazy. Okay, here we go. Now it's time to see the car. I'm keeping my distance a bit, not to be in everyone's videos, but we're going to see the car now. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> look at this. You got the carbon here. Carbon up there. Sorry for all the noise around, guys. But look at this. We got carbon rear diffuser. It's insane. Insane. Look at this red color. Now, the paint never looks quite the same on camera, but in real life, it's pretty insane just how deep this paint color is. And then on the perf, you've now got so the full carbon uh, hood here, the air inlets, the whole front of the car the splitter and everything is all carbon fiber carbon ceramic brakes i mean the whole thing is just crazy look at that another little wing here a big wing up there and we don't have the keys yet they're going to open it up and we're going to check out the interior but yeah nuts yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane no i mean man Absolutely the details it, it's so nice because you've got all the red touches already this is a beautiful detail the red um door handles yeah, with the wheels Oh, and the wheel as well. Yeah, with yes, the wheel. that's beautiful. Yeah, a lot of reminders and um, full Alcantara now, right? So on the perf. comfortable, so racy, so elegant at yeah. the same time. The carbon, the black, and everything like that. Yeah, wow. so it's all wow. carbon, so fully specked out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just no, you can't get the panoramic roof because it's a um, carbon roof, I, correct? I, I prefer I took the carbon roof. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna miss the panorama, panoramic yeah. roof, but um. But it was worth the... Yeah, the yeah, yeah, for definitely. Sure, for sure. Yeah, look at this stitching. Wow. Beautiful with the Urus written here. And then this is nice, the red details here, because from the outside you can see them really nicely. Congratulations, bro. Merci this is crazy. Thank you, thank this you, is brother. crazy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy. So yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. This is called the black finishing mm -hmm. here and the black Lamborghini. And even this is now finished yeah. in black. And um, Alcantara. Yeah. Yeah, everything in black. 
yeah, with the new I rally noticed. mode. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Look at this detail. Your seats Alcantara, but then usually this bit right here is plastic. But even here, that is finished in Alcantara. Just so nice. They're just doing more photos of the car over there. I thought I'd come have a better look at the Countach because we've seen three, but everything was so rushed that we couldn't have a proper look around one. Amazing how square and angular uh, the design of the Countach is. It's already angular and square-ish, you know, kind of hard lines on Aventador's normally, like you can see there. But here, I mean, everything's just rectangular uh, square all over the car even the front headlights which you notice the most but then there's also right there can you see that's almost like a wing on the front hood which i hadn't noticed before and then all the little details like well the bronze rims but even the bronze details here and on the wing mirrors really nice and on the inside it's basically like an aventador just you have this like big touch screen in the center um, which is a nice touch which you do have also on the CN, I believe. Well, conveniently, there's one right here, so we can go check. But look, yeah, the CN also has that screen. And then it's got the carbon fiber engine cover and those really cool little winglets that pop over. But yeah, overall, just pretty epic. You can see on the back of the Countach, it's a little more angular, a little more square. So you can see the exhausts that ring back to the original Countach. And then you just have such easy access to seeing those huge rear tires. But yeah. Awesome to see these next to each other. What a privilege. Guys, I'm, I'm just completely lost for words now um, because we were in that building and I just opened a door and we've ended up in this new building. And look at, look at what I've just found. STO, I believe in the same color as Alex's car. The original Performante. So it's a Superleggero Gallardo Superleggero without a roof. This was when the name Performante, I, I believe, was first, first came about. A 996 Turbo. We got a uh, black and gold this time, Euro edition Aventador, an LP580 uh, with e-gear Merchelaga Roadster. But then things get very spicy here where we have a Diablo and then an, a Reventon. Rebenton, because apparently you say it that way. But anyways, awesome, awesome looking. This is number 19 of 20. I cheated a little bit earlier before starting to film and looked at the number plaque right in the middle of the seat number 19 out of 20 worldwide it is absolutely insane based on a fighter jet of course and with its matte paints so cool pretty impressive this one huh <laughs> 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 the enthusiasm <laughs> and then we have another super trofeo stradali here i think this is the third we've seen now and then many more gallardo's original super Leggera right here uh, more diablos uh, diablo gtr Next to another STO. Ooh, I've never seen these rims before. These are kind of funky. Uh, Jablo GTR in this kind of weird paint color, but insane paint. It is quite a weird paint color, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's squeeze through there. Okay, and then let me just show you, because in this corner over here, it looks like there's only this Volkswagen Touareg, but then, bam, we have an LP640 Roadster, Pirelli edition of Entador, a matte black SV, which is just stunning. Look at this thing. And then an SVJ Roadster. And that's actually a Veyron under there, a Bugatti Veyron hidden in the corner that we can't go see under a Lamborghini car cover. But uh, yeah, look at that little lineup. SV, SVJ Roadster, Veyron. Ridiculous. Let's go to the other side of the room now. This was meant to be a delivery video, but it's turned into a discovery of one of the coolest car garages i've ever been to so i'm i'm skipping past loads of cars like clio v6 right there outrageous those things are so cool but they just this video would be an hour long we've got another lp 580 roadster uh, but this is e-gear as well a modified gallardo svj roadster again i wonder how many of these we've seen now i think this must be at least the fourth or the fifth today we got an lp640 coupe with a wing on the back this is a stunning spec of entador s brown with bronze wheels and a brown interior <laughs> okay i have to admit a brown of entador is maybe not something you'd first think of but i think it looks really cool so we're gonna head back now because we have a two and a half hour drive back to home in geneva <laughs> The noise this thing makes as it casually drives past the CN. We were about to leave and then they just unlocked one more door <laughs> and things just went to a whole other level. Look at this. 
Boom, CLK GTR, one of 25 in the world. Absolutely insane. Sorry for the light flickering, but that's at the camera. We've got an, another SVJ Roadster, but this one in the same paint color as Alex's Urus. A Goldwing, a 300SL Goldwing, a Versace edition Murcielago, a 40th anniversary Mercy manual. <laughs> I mean, a Mura Yotta, it's called. Look at this, 440 horsepower. Um, 300 kilometers an hour at the time in 1970. Can you imagine one of three in the world? This is just insane. And then a white on white Mura. Definitely gonna need to come back here to do uh, a video of, uh, of, of this collection. Because at the end of the day, it's the guys who own this dealership that own a lot of these cars. And I mean, it's just, it's just insane. We have a Mura. Yotta and a CLK GTI in the same room. And a white on white Countach with a white on white Mura right behind it. I mean, I don't know what to say anymore. A Countach 400, we have a 350 GT over here, I believe it is. Yep, 350 GT, 1964. These things are beautiful with the red interior. Right, we've made it outside now. Alex is gonna be driving the car away. Man, this thing looks awesome out here. It looks so much like deeper, the paint now, as soon as it's out of the spotlights in the dealership. Often these kinds of lights don't give you the best idea of what the paint actually looks like out in the, kind of out in the wild. But yeah, two and a half hour drive now back home to Geneva. So I think we're gonna convoy, but I may, uh, I may lose him in that thing. Here's the man, <laughs> congrats. So awesome, much, honestly, Thank it's beautiful. Massive. Look at this, Thank out you. in the, like in the wild, it's a whole different level, isn't it? Even at night. Yeah. The whole thing is stunning. Anyways, awesome video. Thanks for inviting me along for this. Guys, we've actually done some other videos together um, <laughs> with your Chiron. We're probably going to do more videos. So yeah, don't hesitate to go follow his account. I'm going to put it in the Thank description you. down below. Congrats again. Merci. And we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>